Hey guys, Mike and Tony here, back with another video for you to help you move towards your success. We're just sharing our ideas and thoughts and we're here to help you. So, Tony. Yes, I have been good. Yeah. Uh, it's all been good. And uh, just wondering uh, to this week what we could discuss that could be really impactful to people watching our video. Mm. Um, and I came up with a, with a well, I start with a question, uh, viewers, uh, and it's about the importance of now. But I'm going to add to that. Here's the question, Mike. I'm going to throw this over to you. Um, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Um, what's the importance of now in moving your dream forward? Because if I said to you, what's your dream or vision, whether it's weight loss or finding a new partner or a new career or an idea, um, you immediately will think, well, oh, and you jump over there, don't you, to where that, that dream is. What, what's the importance of now in moving your dream forward? Well, if you're looking at it from a quantum perspective, now is the only ever time that actually exists. But let's just wheel it back in a bit <laughs> and not go too far. That was too a bit heavy. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> too far too soon. But in simple terms, typically what we do, and I'm talking about we the collective, we're either focusing on frustrations of the past or worrying and anxious about futures that haven't actually come to fruition yet. Mm. So by reeling it back and understanding that now is only ever the time that you are issued with and what is going on now is going to influence the future, mm. but in a positive way if you choose it to do that way. So for example, what I like to do in the morning is I used to have a huge to-do list. Okay. So typically we've often talked about write it down, write a task list and make sure you get these things done because the brain likes to work. It likes to know that you've ticked things off. Okay. The self of, um, there's a feeling of self-worth, um, there's a feeling of productivity if you've got a list and you've ticked that off now. But what often distracts us is that we tend up being just busy. Now, if we just take a step back, focus on right, what is the big thing I can do now that's going to help me move towards my ideal? So that may be to speak with a potential new client. So instead of trying to worry about, are they going to speak to me? Are they going to give me a no? Just actually taking action mm. and then actually doing the thing mm. that is picking up the phone mm. and speaking to that person, mm. whether it do give me, a, yes, I'd like to work with mm. you, or they do give me a no, that's not really relevant and that's that that is the future anyway the, the exactly. now the yes or no is a future event it's not now the, the now should be the the, the joy of picking up the phone now. and just and then leaving it letting go and say well i've done that what's the next one uh, is is detachment part of this as well yeah because for the most part we as i touched on before we spend a lot of time either frustrated with things that have gone on before and that helps influence our behavior in the future. So if you can have a see feeling of, do you know what, almost like ambivalence. Mm -hmm. I tell the story, it's kind of like when I um, was setting up my own studio, as mm -hmm. you know about, and there was a time where I got in the studio, really excited, and I realised, right, you've got to get people through the door here. <laughs> <laughs> got bills to pay, you've got people to serve and so on and so on. Yeah, Honestly, quit, quit all the decorating yeah, and putting, yeah. putting nice equipment in and, oh, isn't this great? Hang on a minute, I'm on my own. Yeah, yeah. Got people to, got people, I've got to get that word out there. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at different ways I could do mm -hmm. this. So it's got a very long story short. What I did is, you may have heard of um, these people that do these deals like Woucher and Groupon mm -hmm. and... Um, I can't remember the name of the other, but I reached out to one of those people mm. and I kind of forgot about it, mm. thinking that, well, if it works, it works. Mm. It's no big risk to yeah. me. So anyway, the deal went live and in that next week, I had 140 people buy the deal that was on. Wow. Now, it was obviously a, a cheap deal. It was mm. a discount deal and you could argue it was the right or wrong thing to do. But because I kind of forgot about it, I kind of left, mm. it, you know, if it's going to work, it's mm. going to work. If it does, it does, it doesn't, it doesn't. Mm. I wasn't worried about, oh, mm. this needs to work. Mm. And I took action. I thought, right, this is mm. what I'd like, yeah. i.e. people coming through the door. Yeah. How can I do that? So I reached out and these people were there to help me. Mm. So the point I'm trying to make is that you just have to 
look and focus on your idea. Mm. Take the action that you can do immediately right mm. now and not worry. Kind of detach from actually what's going to happen. So, viewers, I think this would be a good opportunity for us to share with you what do we actually practically do to get us in the state of nowness? What do we actually do to put ourselves in that position where we're saying, right, I'm going to stop the mental chatter about the past and the future and just focus on now? Um, what, what do we do? So I can start first if you want, Mike, or this, uh, and then pass it over. So I'll talk about what, what I do to, to, to do that. Um, first of all, I stop and I choose what has to be done obviously if it's if it's washing up if it's cooking a meal that has to be done then there's the everyday things that have to be done but around that i choose my nearest point of excitement my nearest interest or uh, something which is pulling my my uh, focus in and focus on that if i have that time to do that and that's a very much now moment because when you follow your nearest point of excitement the thing that's really gripping you you naturally become more present if you think about it, you get into that zone. So that's one of the things that I, I would do just to focus in. Uh, the other thing to do is just to stop and ask that question. What am I thinking right now? What am I doing right now? And it can start with a thought that can then lead to an action. So you might say, OK, what a, I, I've been walking around for a bit, a bit um, in the house, a bit uh, wasting a bit of time, a bit of mundane. Stop. Right. What do I need to do? Oh, yeah. And then if you catch yourself, you realise there is that, that phone call to make or that person to speak to. So you, the first stage is to, is to check, what do I de need to do now? And then move on, and then move on to the next thing. It's absolutely right, because you and I, and many people listening to this today, all want to do something. It may be to increase their income, it may be to become fitter and healthier, it may be to have more energy, it may be to find someone to be with, or maybe just to enhance their relationship that they're currently in at the moment. We all would like an outcome, mm. but often what stops us from experiencing that outcome is that worrying about what's gone in the past or what potentially could happen in the future. So bringing it back down to now, and as you touched on, doing the thing that immediately can bring me back to stop worrying about the future or stop being anxious about or frustrated about the past is going to actually move me forward towards that what it is I really want. But is the now also always going to be an action point? Mm. So I'll just throw this up in the air uh, uh, to you, Mike. In the now moment, is it always about having to do or think something? Or can a now moment be completely void of that? And that's where meditation comes into it. Excellent. That's something Great, that's yeah. I do regularly um, each morning. Get up before the kids come and start tearing the place down. Jumping up about... Uh, about Even yeah. if it's just five minutes, and you don't have to do it in the morning, but it's something that allows me just to go mm. inward, to be introspective, and just to think. So the now doesn't have to be doing something mm. or beavering away. It could just be still mm. just saying a gratitude prayer or being thankful or appreciating you know, the birds mm. singing. Just bringing you back to that particular moment is a way of, again, altering your vibration in a, in a positive way. Mm. And also, to add to that, um, because there will be viewers that say, I find meditation a real complex uh, problem to get through, go outside, you know, go for a walk. Mm. If you walk outside just for 20 minutes a day, somewhere where there's lots of countryside and some peace and quiet, you will naturally fall into a state of mindfulness and nowness, if you like, because and here's the thing to do. As you're walking along, you just stop. And this is so cool. This is great information, by the way, Mike. This is what I love to do. As you're walking along, first of all, you'll be, I promise you, your mind will be chattering about the shopping list, uh, picking up the grandparents tomorrow, or whatever it might be. It's chatter, chatter, chatter. Recognize that first, and then choose to go to a general thought. So for example, you're walking through the park, chatter, chatter, chatter. You recognize the chatter and then say, Oh, there's, I'm just going to go general. That, that bird sounds nice. Or I, can, oh, I can hear ducks or the wind through those trees. And you've changed that thought from chatter to attention, mindfulness. Okay? When you get to that stage, you've gone more general. You're just generally observing the world around you. And it's in those moments of general observation that you're getting very, very close to those, is it beta or alpha 
brain waves mm. where you, you are getting close to a general uh, thought process. And that also view is where inspiration can fall into and ideas and creativity. Yes, yeah, so, you know, great information there, and I think it, you know. It's, Thank you, Mike. In, <laughs> in simple terms, it's remembering at any point throughout the day or night. It's not complex. All you have to do is think about: Can I bring it back to this present moment in time? Going for a walk, being outside. You know, even if it's reading a book, that's going to help to elevate you and shift your mind. Stop that mental chatter. Stop worrying about the future. It hasn't happened yet, <laughs> and it may never happen. It may never happen to what, what you're thinking about, and stop worrying about or being frustrated by things that have gone in the past. Because again, that's something that you can never really alter. All you can alter about the past is your your view of it, your perspective of it, um, which we can talk about again in another video. So again, just wait to say that we talk about these things in our Think to Thrive workshops, of which there will be another one coming up very soon. So keep tuning back here on this channel to find out more about it so Tony would you like to summarize before we just sign off yes just to say right now you can make a start wherever you are whatever you're doing to stop and ask that question am I being now am I being present and what things around me can I can I hear or see that are just pulling my attention into being present show your thoughts show your um, ideas with us leave a comment below and share this video with a with your circle of influence. If you've found it of value, you found it beneficial, again, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, we always ask you to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our latest and greatest videos. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you for being with us on this video and to your success. To your success.